So I wanted to do a quick video on real estate, um, specifically the market that I know, which is New England, from where I'm coming from, which is kind of like a preppers mentality. And it's my position that most houses that are more than, so, Traditionally, the closer in, in, in Connecticut, the closer you were to New York City, the more expensive the property became. Pretty much. So as, as you go down south and get towards the coastline, uh, prices tend to double. And as you move towards like the Stanford and Greenwich area, um, they really just become unattainable. Um, you know, even a, a normal house like mine, which is probably like a thousand square feet or just over uh, in North Greenwich is probably going to cost you like, you know, two to five million dollars just for the proximity. Now, the world's changed. And here's my argument for pretty much the opposite. Um, every house that's more than 50 miles away from New York um, it's probably worth two million dollars, and it has to do with the um, environment. So, we enjoy a relatively low threat profile um, in this part of the country. Um, we see very few earthquakes. We see very few wildfires. We see um, very few hurricanes. Um, in very few tornadoes. Couldn't ask for much more than that when you are um, staring down the barrel of, you know, ecological apocalypse. And I'm not saying Connecticut is safe in the long run. I'm saying if you look at the past, you would have good reason to expect um, this area to be safer than Southern California, than Northern California. We'll have more stable water resources than Arizona, New Mexico, um, Nevada. The threat profile of living in Florida, currently very dangerous. Um, Long-term nightmare nightmare sea level rise and everything else it's you know um you look at the majority of this country and you see big glaring ecological threats this area is prone to wildfires this area is prone to hurricanes this area is prone to drought etc etc the biggest threat in connecticut is the government bar none not even a close second. And I think that makes my property worth $2 million in today's dollars. And my kind of thinking is that if you were to think out the next two to five years, people in California are going to have to move. It's not going to be, oh, they're moving from taxes or they're moving because all the homeless people. No, their, their houses are going to be burning or there's, their ground is going to be shaken to the point where they can't do business um, besides rebuilding what's just fallen down. Um, excuse me. A lot of these places, I don't know how uh, like Las Vegas is going to exist in five years. Just from like a water security perspective, never mind the temperature. Um you're not going to live there if it's 150 degrees. And it, it, it flirts with that kind of threshold um, in their, in their um, middle of summer. You know, not, they don't see 125 too often, um, but they could. And I can guarantee you they will. And it's just going north from there. So there are... Um, 
cities in all of these vulnerable regions and these cities have millions and millions and millions of people in them and these people live in an inflated urban uh, environment and just the price of they're used to paying more for everything so when they move and it's a guarantee that they will a guarantee that they will move um it's not a maybe they will move or they'll die and um, there's plenty that will die there but many will want to protect their children from increasing ecological threats and they will abandon um their properties wholesale even if they can't sell them and um we're seeing this in small towns already that are running out of water resources uh but it's going to start hitting cities soon and i see maybe not all well definitely not all but i think if you were to look at all those regions which is pretty much the the south coast the midwest and the west coast just huge swaths of the country um at least 10% of those people are going to want to move to New England and when you look at the New England market um one of the most i don't want to call it business friendly but places where you can find a job it's difficult to find a job uh, in Vermont it's difficult to find a job in Maine um but there are plenty of jobs in Connecticut there are plenty of jobs in Massachusetts so i can see millions and millions and millions of people um displaced because of natural disasters wanting to move to New England despite our incompetent uh and threatening government and um yeah that's why my house is worth 2 million dollars in today's currency and i'm just going to wait for the market to um figure that out